Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of recognizing patterns. Specifically, we can recognize additive or multiplicative patterns in tables and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So those are the two terms we are looking at. We are looking at additive and we are looking at multiplicative. And that's kind of a long word, but hopefully you see within those two terms addition Right, that means do you add something to change one variable to another, or do you multiply? And hopefully we see that it's very close to multiply. We see that in there. So let's look at our first two sets of values. We've got x and y over on the left-hand side. And something is happening from the x to change it into a y. Think of this as an input-output table. And so what are we doing to get from the x to the y? Well, it's getting bigger. It's going from 2 to 4. We're looking side to side. So we've got two options here. If they're getting bigger, we can multiply by something, or we can multiply by something. And we don't know which one it is quite yet. So 2 plus what is going to make 4? And then 2 times what is going to make 4? That's really what we're thinking of. And the strange thing is it happens to be the same number, right? 2 plus 2 makes 4. 2 times 2 equals 4. So it could be an additive or multiplicative relationship because you can't just you can't find a pattern based on just one relationship. But what we do here is we now we move this all the way down. And let's see which one works. Since that was our first one, 5 plus 2 oh does not equal 10. That equals 7. But 5 times 2, yeah, we're good to go. 6 plus 2 doesn't work. Right, that equals 8, but 6 times 2, that equals 12. All right, and we see that the plus 2 is not working for us. Uh, that should be 12, but instead we need the times 2. All right, so we can say it's a multiplicative relationship. We need to give a reason. Multiplicative relationship, because what you do is to get the y, what do we have to do to that y value? you multiply, and that's why we need to put that into our justification, the x value by, and then what is our multiplier? By 2. So it's a multiplicative relationship. Now let's look over at this other column. We could have named these h and, h and j, x and y, l and m. It really doesn't matter. These are just two different values, but we just named them h and j so we wouldn't confuse them with x and y. We're going to do the same thing. The numbers are getting bigger, left to right. Since this is a vertical column, we look from left to right. How am I getting from H to J? And much like the first row on the other side, right, I could add 3. That would work. Or I can multiply by 2. So I have an option for adding and an option for multiplying. Sometimes when you do this on the first row, it's only going to be one or the other. So it's going to be pretty obvious on that very first row. So let's take this all the way down. And we're just going to see that very first set of possibilities. Add 3, multiply by 2, which one works? 5 plus 3, that works. 5 times 2, nope, that doesn't work because it should equal 10. 7 plus 3, that works. And 7 times 2 doesn't work because it should equal 14. And then I've got my 11 plus 3, 11 times 2. Well, it's getting really large. Now that should be 22. All right. So whereas this first one was a multiplicative relationship, we can say this is an additive relationship, but let's explain why. And I'll write it slightly different. It's an additive relationship. And instead of saying, I could say to get the j value, you add uh, 3 to the x value to the h value, we could say that, or I can say the j value. There's different ways that we can represent this relationship with words. Is always, and then what I'll do is I'll say three more. So I'm going to describe this relationship, this additive relationship, without even using the word additive or addition or anything like that, because sometimes you might not see that in the answer. Is always three more than the h value. So that's how we can try to find additive and multiplicative relationships in tables.